Previously on math class, we stated that you can't have an inverse function if your function's not one to one. So we're trying to find a function inverse when the function is not one to one. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this guy. What? We want to go and, well, you get the picture. This is not a one to one function. That's the graph of that guy right there. Blue. You my boy. All right. It doesn't pass the horizontal line test, but what? We have it restricted so that when the x's are smaller than zero, we only get this one piece. Now, if you consider this fine fellow, this yellow graph, then it does pass the horizontal line test because we're ignoring your boy. So what? If you were going to go and reflect it across the line y is equal to x, then that's the graph of the inverse. And what? it looks like it's going to look like, no, that ain't right. It's in the negatives. That's right, right there. If I folded it, does it look like it's all symmetric? Sure. <laughs> all right. So now let's go through that four step process and on the restricted domain, find. Ah, yes, the goods. First step, replace f of x with y. Why? Because it's easier on the i. That, that right there. That was step one. Step two, interchange x and y. Interchange x and y. So now I have my x is equal to my y squared plus one. That's a deuce. All right. And now I solve for y. I do. And there it goes. So I have an x minus a one is equal to a y squared. All right. So now what? I take the square root of both sides, but I'm not going to forget the plus and minus. So that's plus and minus the square root of x minus one fun. That's going to be equal to y. Why? Because whenever I take the square root of a uh, square, you get the absolute value, which is where the plus and minus come from. Now, we need to pick one. Which? Which one? Do we want the plus one or we want the negative one? That's where our picture is going to come and it's going to help. Yeah. So, uh, if... Yeah, that's the picture of that parabola over there. It's in pieces. That's the plus piece. That's the minus piece. We want the yellow one. So we're going to go and we're going to pick the negative one. Mm -hmm. This one. I pick you. Why so negative? Because it makes for better pictures. And then finally, that f inverse of x is equal to a minus the square root of x minus 1. Fun. And that's from where now? When you, this is the important I-M-P-O-R-T-A-N-T. Is that important? Is that how I spell important? Well, this is important. This part here where you interchange x and y, that's when you interchange the x's, which were all less than zero, and now it's all about the y's. The y's. So these y's, that's when, that's when y is greater than one. That's our new domain is when x is greater than one because you interchange the x and y's. And that's why on this guy, I have that x is greater than or equal to 1, because that's my new domain. So that's my inverse. Huh. Box and flower. When you're finding the inverses on a restricted domain.